Meantime, the Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews continues to face questions about a lack of transparency over his four-day trip to China. Mr Andrews has touched down in Beijing for a diplomatic trip designed to foster stronger relationships with China in the wake of the federal government tearing up the Belt and Road deal he signed in 2018. But the former Labor Senator, Stephen Conroy, believes Mr Andrews faces fair criticism of the trip after he decided not to invite or brief journalists on the visit. I can't remember the last time a leader didn't want to take uh, media with them uh, on any trip anywhere. Uh, <laughs> and, and this is a big trip. So uh, in terms of transparency, no, look, I don't, I don't think he's got anything to hide, which is why, you know, I think that uh, transparency is always a better way to go forward in trying to deal with the media. I found that. The Victorian Premier's office says a written update on Mr Andrews' itinerary and meetings will be provided each day at 2pm. The acting Premier, Jacinta Allen, has defended the nature of the trip. Face-to-face -face meetings are a really um, important part of that. This is very much a business uh, business trip that the Premier is taking. It's it's not, not, not an event trip. It's very much full of meetings that will be focused on those really key important areas around international, relation, uh, international education. I'm not aware of the uh, individual meetings that the Premier is, um, is, is undertaking. 